Oh yeah, what do we have here? Well, 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 here it is people, here it is, CR Droid boot animation in the building. Finally, 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 we can now install custom ROMs on the POCO F3 Mini 11X without having a computer and by using TWRP recovery by Vashist. Here it is, CR Droid in the building, running like a boss on the POCO F3. Yes, for full disclosure, I do have the POCO F3, but the process will work even if you have the Mi 11X or the Redmi K40 as well. Now, what are the prerequisites for this video? Well, for starters, you do need to have an unlocked bootloader and then you also need TWRP recovery by Vashisht. How do you do that? Videos for those can be found in the description of this video. Next thing you need is to make sure that your battery is charged at least 50 to 60 percent. Do not, and I repeat, do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30 percent. Another thing you need to make sure is that you are going to lose all your pictures, videos, anything important which you have on your device. So make sure you have a backup of all the pictures, videos, and any Anything important which you have on your device now all the files all the resources telegram groups channels everything is linked in the description of this video so here it is CR droid latest build and why are we on this page we are on this page because they do mention that you should be on MIUI firmware 12.0.2 0.4 or 0.5 this means you need to be coming from stock MIUI and this is the MIUI version you need to be on. Again, that is the version which you need to be on at the time of recording this video. And this might change down the line because 12.5 is already out and 13 should also be coming out. So this might change. So again, join their Telegram group, follow the Telegram channel, be on the XDA thread and Whenever you want to flash CR Droid, make sure to read that. What is the version of firmware they're asking you to be on? So you need to be on that stock MIUI. Again, be on the stock MIUI of the firmware version mentioned over here. And of course, we need our shameless video plug over here. So how do you go back to stock from a custom ROM on the POCO F3 Mi 11X? Video for that can be found in the description of this video and oh almost forgot the files all the files which you need are linked in the description of this video and in this video we are using the official build which does not have g apps baked in so we are going to use the rom zip and then the next file you need would be your g apps in case you want google apps i am using next stock g apps and whatever g apps are working i will mention them in the description of this video and in the pinned comment as well so again make sure you read the description and read the pinned comment also so here we are poco f3 miui 12.0.5.0 based on android 11. let us go to the home screen next up go into settings and then you will go into password and security remove your screen lock fingerprint and face unlock once that is done go back go into me account and remove your me account once that is done go back go into accounts and sync and remove your google account once you have removed all the accounts and security measures make sure you reboot your device once now why are we removing all the accounts and security measures we're doing this because we are going from one rom to another and i don't want you to be locked out of your own device next thing we need to do is we need to boot into our custom recovery which is twrp in this case so for starters turn off your device and once the device is turned off press and hold power and volume up together till you see the recovery logo or you can also let go of the power button once you feel the vibration and here it is we have booted into our custom recovery which is team win or twrp going to wipe advanced wipe select dalvik and data that's it select only these two partitions and then swipe to wipe tap on the home button next up go into install and then you need to navigate to the folder where you have the rom file so in my case it is in download here it is the rom in this case cr droid android 11 and of course this is the build without google apps and i prefer to have my google apps so we are going to use next stock g apps first of all select the rom itself make sure that inject twrp after install is checked add more zips then select the nick g apps and again make sure that inject twrp after install is checked and then swipe to confirm flash 
So as you can see, we got an error with respect to the Nix G apps. The ROM installed fine without any issues, but Nix G apps gave us some errors. Could not mount system try changing recovery and TWRP was also flashed without any issues. Let us try one thing, go back to the home screen and now we can go into install select nix g apps one more time and make sure that inject twrp after install is checked and swipe to confirm flash now all right so as you can see the installation process has now started so the mistake which we made was we did add more zips and what that did was it left the partitions mounted so pro tip install the rom make sure that inject twrp is checked once rom is done then select your next g apps again make sure that inject twrp option is checked and there it is this time there were no errors in flashing next g apps next up we will tap on the home button going to reboot and select recovery do note that you will be on a blank screen for say like 10 seconds there is no need to panic and do not touch the device it will boot into twrp recovery it just takes some time so again be patient and do not panic and there it is we now have the poco logo and pretty soon we will boot into our recovery which is twrp there it is team win twrp recovery logo in the building and once we are on the home screen we will go into wipe of course the touch drivers do take some time to load here it is wipe format data type in yes and then tap on the check mark on the bottom right as i mentioned earlier format data will result in wiping out of all your pictures videos anything important which you have on your device and no you cannot go from stock me ui to a custom rom without performing a format data so format data was done as you can see no issues with that but we did get some errors about mounting system root ext those can be ignored just select reboot system oh yeah what do we have here well 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 here it is people here it is cr droid boot animation in the building which means we are booting into our custom rom of course the first boot up will take some time so you have to be patient and if i sound excited hell yes i am super excited why because finally 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 we are able to flash custom roms on the poco f3 mi 11x redmi k40 without a computer all credits to washist for his awesome dope twrp recovery setup screen in the building let me skip the initial setup real quick and looks like we have to have a reboot this thing happens with me all the time whenever i flash a custom rom based on aosp whether i do it from fast boot or say i do it from twrp in this case after the first boot up sometimes i mean not sometimes most of the times the touch will stop responding there will be an automatic reboot and after that everything is fine so i don't know what's going on but yep yeah. We should be back on the setup screen pretty soon no need to panic let us try to skip everything one more time there it is people there it is choose your home app pixel launcher always the one i prefer let us go into settings about phone poco f3 of course i do have the poco f3 but it will work on me 11x as well and now we can tap on about phone android version is 11 here it is cr droid official rom installed on the poco f3 or the mi 11x and play store is also present which means g apps were also installed without any issues and there it is peeps that is how you install cr droid official build based on android 11 on the mi 11x the poco f3 without a computer by using twrp recovery and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when I see you.